in England. everybody we are in jolly old England and <laughs> attempting to drive a car it's a six speed anyhow we we got here a couple days ago but we spent a couple of days with our good friends and had a great time visiting them and now we picked up our rental car and we are heading to Cornwall so we're gonna do a little road trip so it should be really fun, but we're just trying to get acclimated to driving on the left and shifting on the left and all of it. So it's kind of a challenge, but anyhow. It is a bit of a challenge. Of course, this car is kind of cool. I don't like that it's six speed. It has a little, little thing on the dashboard that tells you what gear you're in. And then when they want you to change gears, it has a little arrow. Like if it's in first gear, it has an arrow that says two. And then if you don't do it fast enough, a little sign comes up that says, mind the gear shift notice or something like that. So It says mind the? I don't know. It says <laughs> something like that. So Mind the car. First stop on our road trip is Stonehenge. Never been here before. Um, we're just getting ready to pull in and we've got time tickets pre-reserved. So what did you get in your kids mail? <laughs> A diaper? No. So I got sultanas and raisins. Uh, chocolate candies? Chocolate something. I don't know what that is. Oh, we did get a ham sandwich and some animal animal crackers. Crackers. I got apple and pear juice. All that right. Was nice. And to top it all off, I got three crayons. <laughs> How about that? You can draw on your bag. I like it. That's what it is. It's literally just ham. A piece of ham in between bread. Nice. For sure, happy. And now we're waiting to board the shuttle bus. It's a 30 minute walk if you want to take the walking path. Or we're thinking we're going to ride the bus. Maybe we'll walk back. We'll see. What do we have? Thank you. Here it is. It's Stonehenge. It seems smaller than I expected it to be. Yeah, it does seem smaller. I guess it's not always the way I think. And this is about as close as we can get to it. I mean, obviously I've zoomed in, but... And the reason why is because it's all kinds of archaeological finds close to Stonehenge, so they keep you far away because it can damage all of the ground that's got the archaeological stuff underneath it. They say it dates to 3000 BC. So zoomed in are, uh, hopefully you can see these little mounds that are out there. They're, they're burial places for the people that lived around here. And they would, uh, you know, dig a hole, bury people in it, but they wouldn't go very deep. And then they would pile this rock on top of it and they would fill it full of all kinds of stuff from the people. And then as time would go by, they would carve out a little hole more and 
put some more people in there. So it's kind of like these are these little mounds were like their pyramids where they would bury the important people. So. We finished our visit here at Stonehenge. We did walk back on the path instead of taking the shuttle bus, and that was probably a mistake. It was too far and it was too hot. It's overcast today, but it's really hot and humid. So anyway, but we survived. So Andy's went to get the car and we're heading on down the road. We're just uh, going to our hotel for the night and it's just a pit stop place to stay and then we're gonna grab some food and call it a night. Well, good morning. We are on the road again. We just stayed at the Holiday Inn last night. Just a place to stop off, sleep for the night, have a nice dinner. We had to run by Primark in this little town. We were staying in Taunton and they had a Primark and Andy needed a refresh of some shirts out of the car because there was just like a, a place to pull off and it's just so pretty driving through here so I wanted to take some pictures but we're right off the highway okay let's go town of St. Austell and we're at the Porth Peen uh, golf course and that's the ocean right there behind us. So pretty. It's a funky little golf course but what a view. <laughs> I started off with a great drive. Great drive. But it's got to be 250 yards straight down the middle. So this is the putter they gave me. That, that's got to be the worst putter. I've, and this is the bag of clubs that I rented. I paid for these. I truly believe they were used in St. Andrews the very first time anybody hit a golf ball. And they're really bad. So. Well, if you play well, then it's yeah. testament to you. Okay, so we played nine holes. We did fine for, of course, I've never played before with some clubs that are the oldest I've ever seen but it was fun absolutely had a good time okay I don't know where you go from here to be honest with you we're gonna go back across but right there is the ocean right out there it's really neat looking what are those black dots in the water they're birds they can't be birds they would have to be the size of, of whales <laughs> to see them from here I mean, they look like birds to me I know they do look like birds but there's no way they're it was fun. It was a nice thing to do on a Sunday afternoon. It's chilly today though. It's like the first cold day we've had. Yeah. So well, maybe Norway. Norway was a little chilly, but not so No, then. yeah, I was fine. I had a good time. You see down there? That's where the back nine is, just all around that area down there. Would have been all around that ocean. Oh well. Next time I'm in Timbuktu, I may be playing there. So we just finished golfing and 
it was five minutes away from Charlestown, which is where we are now. And uh, it's a cute little um, shipping, boating, I don't know, pirate town maybe, <laughs> where they filmed a lot of pole dark. So I'm just checking it out. Bad it's a Sunday, everything is closed. So cute. Everything is cold. Well, they don't seem like it's cold. A lot of dumb kids, though. Grandma and Grandpa up there precariously on the wall. <coughs> These kids are jumping in the water. Watch. Well, good morning. We're back in the car again. And uh, we just stayed last night at the Holiday Inn. Nice Holiday Inn though, I really liked it. Nice, yeah. beautiful. It looked new. The last two have been really, really nice. I mean, nicer than a lot of places we've stayed at and for free. Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. We used points, so it's nice. Nice free breakfast included and everything. So we're on the road again this morning and we're heading towards Penzance. Maybe we'll see some pirates, who knows. And uh, we're heading towards St. Michael's Mount. So I don't know if, if anyone's not familiar with that, but it's this little island with a castle on it. it. Sits right off the coast, and there's a causeway that you can walk across, but only when the tide's low. So we booked our ticket um, so that we timed it so the tide was low and we could walk across. So uh, it should be fun. This is one of the things I've always wanted to do, so I'm very excited. So. And then from there, we'll head on to uh, Penzance and we have an Airbnb booked. So it looks really, looks like a nice one. So we will show it to you when we get there. Well, here we are at St. Michael's Mount and this walkway that we're walking on different times of the day is underwater. So you can still go over to the island, but you have to take a boat. So this time of the day, it's not covered by water, so we can walk. So that's what we're doing. Made it up to the castle finally. That was a trek. <laughs> Quite the walk. And not even just steep, but the stones are like really hard to walk on. Anyway, here's the view. Imagine maybe we'll get a higher view than this when we get up there. I don't know, but. St. Michael's Mount dates back to the 12th century and over the years has been a mix of a home, a religious retreat, and a fortified castle.
Dr. Penzance, and this is our Airbnb that we booked for the night. So cute. Let me look out the window. Great view. Nice kitchen. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Ah, that's, cool. a, that's the bedroom. Okay, I'll head up there. Let's see. And then the bathroom. Still no tub. I haven't had a single bathtub on this entire trip. Cute. A neat window. Yep, that's it. And of course, there's a shade here that comes down. Oh. Uh, uh -huh, nice. Get the sun out. Very nice. He's like, oh. <laughs> but it's fun. Anyway. Wave him around, maybe. Yeah, you want to go around? Go around. I think, go around. I think we're lost. When we have. <laughs> no, he's stopping to talk to that car. Oh. Okay, hang on. Here we go. Driving through the water. This GPS isn't steering us wrong because this looks like a very sure strange right. way to get anywhere. Well, she's going the same way. She's probably following directions too. Probably. <laughs> We're waiting here for a car to come through. The road is so narrow. Oh my god. Oh it's a no. Big truck. Oh my word. Oh, Do we have a way to back up know. anywhere farther? Oh dear me. Here are we <laughs> in reverse. Okay. We could pull over right here. Doc Martin walking tour. Just waiting for the guide to arrive. And if you watch the show, you'll see over here is where they have the uh, the fish. The guy that does the fish is right in there.
green held out until the very end of our walking tour, Doc Martin tour, so that was nice. And Andy's gone to get the car. We're staying at the old school hotel, which is used in the show as the primary school where Lisa teaches. Here's our room. It's small but nice. Already put all our stuff in here. And then our bathroom and hallelujah, finally a bathtub. I get to take a bath. So I'm excited about that. So we just had dinner here at the Golden Lion, and that is the pub that was used in Doc Martin and Fisherman's Friend. And uh, it's just so pretty tonight. It's probably about 6.30 p.m., but look at how gorgeous that is. It's just gorgeous. So we just walked into our bed and breakfast. It's the Tyndall Villa. It's a cute little place, just on the outskirts of Bath. And look at our room. Look at how cute. Check out the bathroom. 
very pretty. No tub, no tub. But that's okay, it's very nice. Here's the breakfast room where we'll be having breakfast in the morning. It's the check-in area. Pretty. So show us your purchase. <laughs> I got me a, a, a metro bag. Chris had one very similar to this and I loved it. He used it for service. I'll put that on the inside. So there. it's just smaller than the current bag. Yeah, it's just smaller. So we're walking around Bath yeah. and we are on our way to go to the circus. So this is the circus. It's kind of a historic roundabout with beautiful homes. We're up at the river. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the River Avon. Look how pretty it is. I want to go on that boat. I don't know what it is. Yeah. And I want to eat at that restaurant. Yeah, that's not as cool. As what? As the one over there. Oh, We're getting ready to eat over here at the Joya Italian Steakhouse. Alright, so this is a special kind of steak here. They give you this really hot stone. When you cut your steak, it's just been seared on both sides. And, uh, and then you cook it yourself, you put whatever seasoning is on you want it. You got rosemary, salt, and butter, and yeah. butter sauce. You cut off a piece and you throw it on there, and then you cook it. See, here's mine, I haven't started yet. Looks good. checking it out but if you're ever in Bath I highly recommend this place it's called the Tyndall Villas um, lovely breakfast included and right across the street there is the bus stop so we just parked our car here in the parking lot here we hopped on the city bus right here very convenient so highly recommend well good morning everybody back in the car just left Bath and we are headed to the Cotswolds today. So it's an area of England that I've always wanted to see. It's home of all the cute little thatched roof cottages and adorable cuteness. So we are going to stop off in Burton on the water and then we're heading, we're staying in Stowe on the Wald tonight. So uh, we only have about an hour to drive so that'll be nice and it should be very scenic. My goal today is to photograph some sheep. Keep seeing them from afar, but not close up. So I really want to see some sheep close up today. Anything you want to add? No, we're good. Been, been very nice. Last night we stayed in a very nice place. That was really cool. Nice breakfast this morning. on the water. Uh, we'll get to the water in just a minute. So I had to try this ice cream. It's, <clears throat> it's a vanilla soft serve, but then they put a little edge of a different flavor on it. This one's butterscotch. So you taste the vanilla and the butterscotch. Distinctly different. Instead of it just being butterscotch ice cream. It's very cool. Is it uh, good though? Does very it good, good too. Very good, yeah. Okay. I did taste already, but I'll do it again. Mmm. <laughs> Still good. 
here's the water in the Burton on the water. So cute. Just enjoyed our cream tea here next to the river. And we're just watching the ducks over here. They have a grand old life. Okay, we just got to Stow in the Wald. And our, we're staying at the King's Arms Hotel. Downstairs is the pub. And we just got to our room on the third floor. And I will have to film the climb to get here next time we come back up because that was insane but it's a cute little room it's a little desk tv mirror nice view out into the square it's in a little square so there's like i don't know what's in the middle we'll have to take pictures of it on the outside to show what this is yeah and then here's the room and is that the bathroom light? Here's the bathroom, which is nice. Andy's already christened it, but yeah, it's a nice place. Ah, you got yourself a proper Cotswold haircut. <laughs> a what's <wall? laughs> We've just come over to this restaurant for dinner um, that I read about. And so I booked us a reservation. It's called the Horse and Groom. And uh, anyway, we came early, but because we were hungry, but um, the kitchen doesn't open till six. So we got a beer and some peanuts and we're sitting in the beer garden waiting to go in and eat. So that's just you know such a pretty, my beer. It's a pretty, such a pretty scene. It is pretty nice out here. And he's just choking it down. But anyway, it's lovely. So we just want to give you a little bit of a raw idea of what it is to get up to our room. So here's the first set of steps. Okay, so you think, okay, that wasn't so bad. Now here's another step here. And what's interesting about this step and the top step is they're half steps. So when you take the first step, it's only a partial step. Now, after you've climbed up those stairs down there, and you take this half step, you about fall on your butt. And then you come up these, you get used to doing full steps all the way to the top, and then you get to this one, it's a half a step. So you step down hard. And this one says, mind your head, because these steps are literally straight up. Just literally straight up. Straight. And you'll hit your head right here if you're not careful. So you have to hold on to the rail. Because if you don't, you're gonna fall. And they're very, very steep. Uh, and then you're all the way. It's all right. Your foot's not doesn't fit on the step, only half your foot fits on the step. Two more steps. Oh Lord. And we're there. And this is our room. Well, welcome back everybody, back in the car, and uh, we had a nice time at Stowe in the Wald, we stayed the night, we saw the funny stairway to get to our room, that was interesting. Um, we had an okay dinner, it was a nice place, but the food wasn't so great, so it was kind of disappointing, but we've really had really good food for the majority of this trip, so can't complain too much. We're on the road, we only have about 40 minutes to drive today, we're going to Stratford upon Avon, and we're staying at a really cool looking golf resort, so you can see we're in our golf wear, we're going to golf this afternoon, and uh, hopefully make it to the spa, I don't know, there's a spa there, but I don't know if we're going to be able to make it, so we'll see. Um, maybe uh, we're hoping to walk around the town a little bit and see some of the Shakespeare sites. Um, he was born here and buried here, so we'll see what we can find and enjoy walking around.
This is the Welcome Hotel and Golf and Spa Resort. So fancy. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's like a castle. All right, so I just came into our room. And this is what it looks like. It's nice. It's not as charming, I would say, as the rest of the hotel, but it's very nice. And a king-size bed, which we have not had in, I don't even know how long, so that's very nice. Coming into the bathroom. We have a model. I hate these two stupid- And a tub! We have a tub! Nice. A cute little shower. And we jump back in the car to drive over here to the golf course for our tea time. This course is here at the hotel. But anyway, um, it's a nice day. Oh, the weather's just perfect. It's like cool, warm, not cold. There's a breeze. It's wonderful. It's just perfect. Today we have a few snacks with us and we're going to do some taste tests. And uh, you are going to do taste tests. Okay, you ready for our first taste test? Yeah, let's try okay. this. First one we're doing is Shakespeare Distillery Orange Cello. Yeah, we love lemon cello, and we have a bottle of that too, but. So we found orange we're, cello. We're try and, and we're try intrigued. This. Orange cello. Apparently, cello means something. Does that mean like alcohol or something? I don't know. Mm. We'll have to look that up. Mm. That's good. Not as sweet as Slimmichello I've had before. But that's pretty darn good. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty really darn good. good. Too bad we don't have any more room. We just bottle a bottle of it. We've got to consume what we buy because we don't have room to take it home. Yeah. All right. That's which it. will not be a problem. Which or which will not be a problem. Yeah. So. Here we go. Taste test number two. Number two. Is the real McCoy's ridge cut flame grilled steak potato chips. Steak potato chips. So these bricks. I should have opened these before I started, but you okay. wanna go first or do you No, want I ain't trying that. Yes, you are. You get after you eat it, I'm gonna see what I wanna do. get roast beef. <laughs> now, I don't really get Let me swish it around in my mouth a little bit. I'm tasting a hint of oak. <laughs> I don't really get plain grilled steak, but I can try it. Strangely enough, I am getting... Oh, sorry. Steak seasonings. <laughs> so I don't know what the heck that means. But <laughs> but like the seasoning you'd put on the steak, that's what it tastes like to me. Okay. Not necessarily the steak. Alright. Not really my bag of chips, but I'll oh, well. we'll try it. I'll suffer for the cause. Here we go. Okay. Alright, we're taking a break from whole five bring you our last taste test, which I found at Poundland, which is their version of the Dollar Tree. So you know their quality. <laughs> These are, they were milk chocolate tea cakes. Uh, the brand is Tunnox, and they're made in Scotland. But this says ch chocolate mallow. I'm wondering if it might have marshmallow in it. I don't know. Well, that's the great mystery in life, isn't it? Well, we're gonna find out. It's a little bit smushed. <laughs> Because it was in my bag. Oh, mm-hmm. Marshmallow? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it all over your face. That's nice. Marshmallow with a little cookie on the bottom. It's like a s'more. Like a Rolo. No, not at all. It's pretty good, actually. Mmm, so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, those are pretty good. They're like... Remember those little pies that they used to put mm. in the circle, like um, 
Mm-hmm. Whoopie pie? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like they're probably like lighter. Like marshmallow mm-hmm. is, this is more like a marshmallow cream, not really yeah. like a marshmallow. Yes, that's exactly true. To me. Okay. <laughs> about over oh. even though it's still bright light outside <laughs> again, huh? it's uh it's about nine o'clock at night still bright as can be you could play in this weather <laughs> we still haven't really had dinner so we came down here to scrounge up some food so we're having our ciders while we're waiting for a hamburger we're gonna take back to our room so, yeah. so just enjoying pretty- our very posh yeah this place is crazy, this place is crazy. hotel you know, it's 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 like the, a nice place, like a Hotel Dell or something like that. But it's from the 17 or 1800s or whatever, so it's all very old. I mean, it's just it's done in a way that that um, it's just fancy. You know, <laughs> that the Queen stayed here and Teddy Roosevelt stayed here, and I mean, it's just a swanky joint. Very historic. So as you can tell, we fit in really well. Well, some of us do. Not me. So we just finished our breakfast, and this is the gardens right outside the breakfast room at the hotel. Just beautiful.
Well, that ends our time in England. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I think probably our days of driving on the left-hand side of the road are over. It was too stressful for Andy. If it was an automatic, it wouldn't have been so bad. The six-speed just kind of threw me. So. We loved it, so hopefully we'll be back Sunday. Nice being with Chris and Suki, too, by the way. We thoroughly enjoyed them. And the road trip was fantastic. We had a good time. Driving the car was a little rough, but we just laughed about it most of the time. It was well worth it. It was a, it was a great time. All right. Well, we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye-bye. Where's the microphone on the side? Oh, that's, that's the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you're videoing zoomed in all the way, it's not going to be very good. Okay. So we've just come over to this. Um... <laughs> Take two. <laughs> he did the same thing. I did the same thing. That first sip was only that big. <laughs>